we're wrapping up this week's action with five games. Let's see what we got tonight. My name is Andreas Sachinko, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. First game on the menu takes place in Chelyabinsk. Truck to go up against Dynamo Minsk. The Versus have been on a roll lately, and they build a 2-0 lead in the opening period. First start from Jimkovsky, it's the spot, gets the puck from Francis Barrens, first his fourth of the year. And less than five minutes later, Rob Klinkhammer puts it on from in front of the net, just after truck to kill off a battle Homside gets to go back middle for the second period. Former Florida Panthers pick Yaroslav Kosov picks up a bad pass and scores his first of the year. Tractor tied up just at a minute into the third. Nick Bailey converts to the two minute advantage and it's all even at twos. Regulation and overtime solved nothing, so it goes to the shootout and Artem Dimkov scores the winner. Dimkov turned 31 the day before and he celebrates it with the goal and the shootout winner. Dynamo Minsk win their fifth in a row. 3 2 is your final. We're off to Helsinki, Finland now, where Jokeri do battle with Red Army. The red and blue get on the board less than a minute into the game. Former Edmonton Oiler Anton Slapashev gains speed in the neutral zone, skates down the middle of the ice and beats Yanis Kalnic. The Jesters tied up just a few minutes later. Jesse Jonsson scores his first of the season with a tip end. David Sklenich and Brian O'Neill get the assists. Jokic get in the lead seven minutes into the second period. Alex Dolvinen gives it to Mikhail Lehtinen who puts it on net and Belly Monty Savinen and redirects it past Alexander Shurichenko for a power play goal. Red Army level it early in the third period. Captain Sergei Andronov slings it home on the stick side and we got a 2-2 tie. The Versus get their second lead of the night in the final three minutes of regulation. Andrei Svetlakov finds the rebound in front of the net and jams it in. Dmitry Samarokov scores on the empty net to secure the win. Samarokov, Andronov and Andrei Lekdanov draw two points each and Red Army take it 4-2 on the road. We're now in Cherif Advance where Severstal play host to Ogbars. The hosts are heavy underdogs in this one, but let's see if they can cook something up. First period, Mikhail Pisenko steals a clumsy pass on the forecheck, throws it in front. Artem Lukayanov fires a one-timer, but it's gloved by Ladislav Vladipolsky. What a save! It stays a scoreless tie until the final five minutes of the second, and then Indrajek Abdul slams it past Adam Redeborg to put Severstal in the lead. The Virst is bringing back to even seven minutes into the third frame as Mikhail Fisenko scores a shorthand and goal. Here will Katrov with the steal and the setup. Serestal gets back in front four minutes later. Daniil Vokchinka finishes off a great passing play while Vladislav Kralonov and Alexander Petudin get the helpers. Akbar's forced overtime with the marker in the final three minutes of the third period. Artem Galiva finds the back of the net off assist by Albert Yerulin. But Serestal still wins the extra point. In the final minute of the extra period, Vovchenko gets the puck in the slot and roofs it past Radeboard. Alexander Adamchuk gets his first career KHL point with that assist, and Severstal shot Akbars on home ice. 3 2 is your final. We travel to Nizhny Novgorod now at our battle, meet Nazi Kimek. Homeside strike just out of three minutes into the game. Sergei Gonchurov converts on a power play as he drives to the net and beats Konstantin Barol in high. Torpedo doubles the lead late in the period just as the Wolves kill off a foul lay. And again as Gonchurov who slices his way through defense and scores a gorgeous goal for his second of the night and third of the season. There's no score in the second so let's keep ahead to the third and Torpedo finishes the Wolves off. First Andrei Belevich gives the puck to Racing. Anton Shelfer receives it back and makes it 3 0. Three minutes later, former Ottawa Senator Chris Weidman rifles it home on a two man advantage for his third of the year to extend the lead to 4 0. Less than a minute later, Weidman gets an assist as Captain Anton Shelko gets another power play goal. 
And all Nifty Kimi can do in this one is steal the shadow from Nikita Serebrikov. Pavel Paradin converts in a man advantage with just 25 seconds on the clock. Apart from that, Torpedo enjoy a great night by one to final. Our final game of the list takes place in Balashika, Moscow region. Avangard go toe to toe with Madelurg. First period, Sergei Talchinsky spins passes to the slot. Lirzhisek pokes at him, but it goes over the net. Late in the frame, Avangard at a power play. Clint Kostin makes a cross ice pass to Yegor Chinakov. One touch feet to the far post, but Denis Zernov is unable to finish it off. Early in the second period now, Taylor back gains speed, whips around his former teammates, takes a shot, but it's stopped by Emil Garipov. Avangard finally opened up the score and needed for the frame. Corbin Knight converts into power play, while Ilya Shisekic and Sergei Talchinsky get the helpers. A few minutes later, Pavel Dudanov races to the net, while Avangard a kill and a 5 on 3, he gets hooked, and that's a penalty shot. Sergei Shumakov attempts to double the lead, but he loses the handle and still a 1-0 game. The Hawks secure it with the empty net on later regulation. Sergei Shumakov gets his fifth of the year. Emil Garikov stops 34 shots for his third shutout in 8 games, and Avangard win 2-0 on home ice. And that's it for your daily KHL update, but do come back tomorrow as we're gonna have two more games for you to enjoy. Sibir will host off down the list while Spartak will face the rivals Dynamo Moscow. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.